Hello, my name is Tete J. Kelsey Richie and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you are here too and click on the notification bell so that if I post a video, you'll be the first to receive it. Today our discussion on ordinary differential equation will be on linear first order ordinary differential equations. Today before the video will end, I will take you through the forms that linear first order ordinary differential equations takes. Before we can find solution to linear first order ordinary differential equations, we use what is called integrating factor. We will learn how to find the integrating factor. I will give you the necessary tips that will enable us to find solution to linear first order ordinary differential equations. Then I will solve two questions that involve linear first order or non differential equations. This will be a very interesting series. So please, I indulge you to watch the video till the end. So, when we talk of linear first order or non differential equations, uh, they are differential equations in the form this. This form, that is divided by dx plus p of x, y, a function of p multiply, a, a function of x, multiplying y equal to another function of x. Please, there is no function of y here, or there is no element of y multiplying the function of x at this side. So take a very good notice of it. Or they can be in this form. You know, the y by the x is the same as the differential of y. So we can say y prime. So they are, they are in this form. So if you see any differential equation in this form, then it is a linear first order ordinary differential equation. One more thing. Linear first order ordinary differential equation in solving them, you must always check that the coefficient of the, of the derivative there is always one. The coefficient here is one. The coefficient here is one. Very, very necessary. So before you solve it, check whether it's a linear first order ordinary differential equation. After that, check whether the coefficient of the derivative in the equation is one. The next thing is that before you can solve linear first order ordinary differential equation, you need to find the integrating factor. So we learn how to find the integrating factor for linear first order ordinary differential equations. Okay, so as we said, we will be finding the integrating factor for linear first order ordinary differential equation. So I told you that linear first order ordinary differential equations they take this form. They take this form. The integrating factor is given as u of x equal to e exponent p of x dx. Where this p of x is a coefficient of the y term here. Is the coefficient of the y term. So the integrating factor, when they just ask you to find that, the integrating factor is just e exponent, the integral of the coefficient of the y term here. So we just integrate this and the results will just be the integrating factor. Now before we try to find the integrating factor for some linear first order ordinary differential equation, I want to explain something. Anytime an exponential function meets a lean function or logarithmic function, let's say this, the answer is the what is it? So x. Take a very good note of it. So if you have e exponent lean 2, the answer is 2. So if you have e exponent lean 5x, the answer is 5x. Take, take a very good note of it. Anytime they meet each other, the answer is a function in front of any of them or the exponent of it. So please keep this very, very well because we'll be using it very often. Now also, 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 we have a law of indices which says that if we have log S exponent N base E, it will be N log S base E. Very, very necessary. So, take a very good note of it. So, if I have a lean 
AD may be X. Okay? I can rewrite this as lean S exponent A. Take a very good note of it. We'll be using them very often. So with that, with this and the exponential meeting the, uh, the lean functions, we don't have problem in finding the integrating factor. So we'll take sample questions, then we'll find the integrating factor for linear first order ordinary differential equations. So we'll learn how to find the integrating factor for a linear first order ordinary differential equation. They say find the integrating factor for a differential equation this. So you have to check whether it is a linear first order ordinary differential equation. Does it take that form? Yes, it takes that form. Check whether the coefficient here is one. So this one, the coefficient is one, so we don't have problem. The next thing is that find the coefficient of the y thing. That's p of x. It will be two over the x. So our integrating factor, which is u of x, is given at e exponent, the integral of p of x dx. So what we have, we have e exponent, the integral of what is p of x is 2 over x dx. You know, we can rewrite this as the integral of 2 out. Because 2 is constant, I can bring it out. The e exponent 2, the integral of 1 over x dx. So when we integrate this, what we have? When we integrate 1 over x, we'll get lin x. So we'll get e exponent 2 lin x. Please, there is no constant of integration here. So we can rewrite this as e exponent lin x squared. I explained that to you using the laws of indices. So I told you that when, when the lin meet the exponential function, the answer is just the function here. So this will just be x squared. So our integrating factor for this linear first order ordinary differential equation, the integrating factor for this is x squared, is x squared. I hope you get that. I'll solve another one so that you will be abreast with finding the integrating factor for linear first order ordinary differential equations. So, We'll solve the second one. Find the integrating factor for this uh, differential equation. So remember, this is in the form of linear first order ordinary differential equation. However, check the coefficient here. The coefficient of the derivative here is not one. So we need to make it one. So we have x divided by dx plus 7y equal to x squared. So we have to divide here by x here by x, then there by x. We divide through by x so that this x will divide that. So what are we having? We have dy over dx, okay, plus 7 over x, y, plus when x divide x squared, okay, equal to, when x divide x squared, we have x. So this becomes our linear first order or non differential equation. Now, what is p of x? Remember our p of x here is a coefficient of the y. That is 7 over x. Very, very important. So we are having p of x to be 7 over x. And we said the integrating factor will be u of x, which is equal to e exponent, the integral of p of x dx. So what do we have? We have e exponent. The was p of x is 7 over x dx. So we can rewrite this as e exponent 7, the integral of 1 over x dx. So what is the integral of 1 over x? That's lin x. So we rewrite this using indices. So e exponent lin s exponent 7. So when the lin meet the exponential function. The angle is just what is there. So our integrating factor, u of s, will be equal to s exponent 7. s exponent 7. So this becomes the integrating factor for this linear first order non-differential equations. Yes, I hope you get that.
are all together. The integrating factor is very, very important. So I'll solve one more question on that before we we'll try to find solutions to linear first order ordinary differential equations. So the third one, we should find the integrating factor for this linear first order ordinary differential equation. A differential of y plus 3y equal to x. Now what's our p of x? The coefficient of the y is 3. So remember we said the integrating factor u of s is giving us e exponent the integral of p of x dx. We have e exponent the integral what's our p of s? That's 3 dx. So uh, the integral of 3 Remember, when we are integrating a constant, we just attach a variable to it. So that will be e exponent 3x. Then this becomes the integrating factor for this linear first order ordinary differential equations. I, I hope you get that. I hope you get that. The next thing is that I will give you some tips. Then after that, we will find solution to some linear first order ordinary differential equations. So after we find the integrating factor, the question is, what next? What next? We need to multiply the integrating factor through the linear first order ordinary differential equations. So let's find an integrating factor for this linear first order ordinary differential equation and multiply it through and see what will happen. Now we check first whether the coefficient of the derivative is one. Is one good? So we found our p of x. Our p of s is 2s. That's the coefficient of the y thing. So the integrative factor u of x is giving us e exponent the integral of p of x dx. So that will be e exponent 2x dx. So what do we have? We have all integrate this, we we'll get s squared. We we'll get s squared. So our integrating factor is e exponent s squared. Now we'll multiply the e exponent s squared through this differential equation and see what happens. So we are going to have e exponent s squared times our dy by dx, okay? Then plus 2xy times e exponent s squared equal to 4x times e exponent s squared. Okay, so we have multiplied it through. We have multiplied it through. Now, after you multiply it through, something will happen. I will show you what, what happens. So if I ask you to differentiate this, look at this. Y x squared, I want you to differentiate that. Where y is a dependent variable, we use, we use product rule since they are multiplying. So we keep one, differentiate the other, plus keep the one that we differentiated earlier and now differentiate the one that we didn't differentiate. That's how we do it. So let's keep x squared and differentiate y. We'll get dy over dx. Plus, now we'll keep our y. Okay, we'll keep y and differentiate x squared. When we differentiate x squared, we'll get 2x. Let me polish it so that I see something. So x squared dy by dx plus 2xy. That's the differential for this. So we can see that the differential for this ys squared, the differential for this is x squared dy by dx plus 2xy plus 2xy. Remember, our integrating factor for this linear first order ordinary differential equation was was uh, e exponent s squared. Okay, it was e exponent s squared. So now I'll take the e exponent s squared, okay, and now differentiate that with the dependent variable y using this approach. Using this approach so that you, you see what happens. So I want to differentiate this as I show you how to do the differentiation using that approach. Now let's differentiate this. So let's keep e exponent x squared and differentiate y. We we'll get dy over dx plus 
Now let's keep, now we are going to keep the y and differentiate this. Remember the differentiation of exponential uh, functions. Check out my videos on differentiation of exponential functions on YouTube. Now we said we differentiate the exponent and use it to multiply the function. So we'll keep y. We differentiate this. When we differentiate the exponent, x squared will get 2x multiplied by the function e exponent x squared. Now let's polish this. We have e exponent x squared divided by dx plus 2xy e exponent x squared. So we can say that the differential of y e exponent x squared, the differential of this is equal to e, the uh, e exponent x squared divided by dx plus 2xy e exponent x squared. So we check that the differential of this of this is this. Now, now look at the integrating factor. The integrating factor here is x squared. After we multiply the integrating factor through our differential equation, after we multiply this uh, integrating factor through it, through it, this is what we have. This is what we have. Now, after I differentiated the dependent variable and the integrating factor, the product differentiation of them, I had this. You check that this, what is here? Check it well. What is here? Is the same as what is in the left-hand side here of this equation after multiplying it through the integrating factor. If you check, they are the same. So we said that after you multiply the integrating factor through the linear first order or non differential equation, the left hand side here of the equation will be nothing but the product differentiation of the integrating factor and the dependent variable. Don't think far. Immediately you multiply it through, the left hand side will become the product differentiation of the what? Of the dependent variable and the integrating factor. Take a, go a good note of it. So that when we start solving questions, you will be abreast with it. Now the next thing, the next thing. If I integrate something like this, y e exponent x squared, okay, I integrate this. This integral, this integral will deal with the differential. Anytime you integrate the differentiation, you integrate the differentiation of a function, the answer is nothing but a function. Take a good note of it. So with this and this, knowing that when you multiply the integrating factor through the linear first order or non differential equation, the results at the left hand side will be the product differentiation of the integrating factor and the dependent variable. With that and this and this, we will not have problem in solving linear first order or non differential equation. So we'll take a sample question so that we'll see how we'll deal with it. Um, so we have our first question. Let's find a general solution for this differential equation. So first, you check whether it is a linear first order or non-differential equation. If you check, check whether the coefficient here of the derivative here is one. Is it one? If it is no one, make it one. So here is one, so we don't have problem. Now the next thing is that we find the integrating factor and we multiply it to the linear first order or non-differential equation. So what is our uh, p of x? p of x is 2 out of x. That's the coefficient of the y term. Now our integrating factor u of x is equal to e, the integral of p of x dx. Okay? So this will be equal to e, the integral of what? What's our p of x? It's 2 over x. So 2 over x dx. Okay, so we're having this. Now we can rewrite this as you can pull this two out. So two out the integral of one over x ds. So this will be e. Now when we integrate one over s, what we have we have lin x. Okay, so we can rewrite this as e exponent lin x squared using indices. So we said that anytime the exponential function meet the lean function, the answer is just what is in front there. So our integrating factor here is s squared. Is s squared. So we check it out. Now our differential equation is divided by dx 
plus 2 over x y equal to x minus 1 plus 1 over x. So we multiply this to our differential equation. So what are we getting? We get x squared, okay, dy over dx, okay, plus x squared times 2 over x y equal to x squared times the whole of that, x minus 1 plus 1 over x. So, what do we do? So, I say after we multiply it through, the left-hand side will just be the product differentiation of the dependent variable and the integrating factor. And I'll show you how that happened. So, the whole of this will just be this. If, if you differentiate this, you get this. You get what you say. So, try it and see. So, this will be equal to now multiply this. x squared times s will be s squared. Okay? x squared times 1 will be minus s squared. Okay. s squared times 1 over s will be plus x. Plus s. What's the next thing? We integrate both sides to get our function. So we find the integral of y s squared. The differential of that. The integral of the differential of this. Equal to the integral of x squared minus x squared plus s dx dx. So we are having this, and I explained to you that any time you you are finding the integral of the differential of the function, the answer is just a function. So the whole of the integral of this will be y x squared. Take note of it. And to be called when we integrate this, we have one over four s exponent 4. Remember the law of, in, or the simple rule for integrating. Add 1 to the exponent and divide the function by that. When we add 1 to 3 is 4. We divide it by 4. Minus the same thing here. So this will be 1 over 3 s squared plus 1 over 2 s squared. Then plus our constant of integration. Now we need a dependent variable alone. So we divide it by x squared. So our y will be equal to 1 over 4 s exponent 4 over x squared, okay, minus 1 third x squared over x squared plus 1 over 2 x squared over x squared plus c over x squared. We divide it through so that the dependent variable will stand alone. So our dependent variable will be equal to, now when this divide is, it will reduce one of the, uh, the powers here. So we have, it will reduce two of the powers using indices. So we we'll have one over four x squared. It will reduce two of that, so we we'll have one third x. This will deal with that, so we have half. Then remember we can write, rewrite this as c exponent, c times s exponent negative to using indices actually using indices then this becomes our general solution our general solution for this for this linear first order ordinary differential equations i hope you get that play over the video and i know that you understand very well we'll solve one more question so that you be abreast with the concept so we'll solve the second question for that. So we say find a general solution for this uh, differential equation. So you check whether it is linear first order. So if you check it's linear, just check this piece whether there is any other variable, a, a, the dependent variable is multiplying that. If it is not, then it is linear. Check it very well. Now the next thing is that check whether the coefficient of the derivative is 1. Is it 1? No. So you need to make it 1 by dividing the coefficient the true to have y prime plus 2x squared y over so let's say x here over x so that you get it equal to x squared over x so we divide through so this will deal with that you have y prime plus this will take one of that so we have 2xy equal to x i hope you get that now the next thing is to find the integrating factor. So what is the coefficient of the y term? That's p of s is 2x. 
So we know that our P of S is now true. So the integrating factor is equal to E exponent, the integral of P of S dx. So how do we have? We have E exponent, the integrating factor. What's P of S is 2x dx. Now we integrate this. When we integrate 2x, we'll get, we'll get s squared. I hope you get that. If you integrate this, just add 1 to this one here and divide. So this is our integrating factor. What's the next thing? We'll multiply the integrating factor through the differential equation. This one. The reduced form. After we make the coefficient here 1, we multiply the integrating factor through that. So the differential equation is y prime plus 2xy equal to x. So we multiply this two. So we have e exponent x square y plus 2xy e exponent x square equal to x e exponent x square. We multiply it two. Remember, we say immediately we multiply it two. The left hand side here will become the product differentiation. Please, this place is prime. The left hand side here will become the product differentiation of the dependent variable and the integrating factor. So the whole of this will be the dependent variable times the integrating factor. They are product. They are differential. And I'll show you how why it is like that. Equal to x e exponent x squared. What do we do? We integrate both sides. We integrate. So we have the integral of y e exponent x square prime equal to the integral of s e exponent x square dx dx so remember when we integrate this, this differential will deal with the integral so we'll be left with only y e exponent x square now this how to integrate this is our next thing so we'll pull it out and and deal with it so we integrate this. Remember, we said the integral of this, uh, we don't have problem. Now we integrate this. Look at it. If we differentiate this exponent, x squared, it will become linear as this is linear. So we we'll use integration by substitution. Please, this may be very tempting to use integration by parts. No, this will not be integration by parts. Take a very good notice of it. So we we'll use integration by substitution. So we we'll let our u before we we'll, uh, we'll let our u to be equal to maybe x squared. But before that, we can rewrite this as the integral of e exponent x square x dx. I just brought the x here. Remember, multiplication is commutative, so it doesn't change anything. Now I differentiate this. So our du over dx will be two x. Now. My goal is to get s dx. So I'll multiply both sides by dx. So du will be equal to 2s dx. I need only s dx. So I'll divide both sides by 2. So my this will deal with that. So x dx will be equal to du over 2. Now in a place of now in a place of s squared, I'll substitute you. In a place of s dx. I'll substitute the u over 2. I hope you get that. So now we substitute. We substitute to get uh, this thing. So we have the integral. So remember the x squared is u. So we have e exponent to u. Then x dx is the u over 2. This is half. We can bring it out. So we have half the integral of e exponent u du. Now remember to integrate exponential functions. We say you differentiate the exponent and use it to divide the function. So all differentiate u is 1. We use it to divide that, we still get the same thing. So we can say that this will be half e exponent u plus our constant of integration. Very, very necessary. Now we substitute back. Remember, we don't have u in our initial. So we can say that the integral of x e exponent x squared dx is equal to half 
Yes, but what's our u? Our u is s squared, so we bring it back. s squared plus our constant of integration. So the integral of this will be this, will be that. Now remember, we are having the integral of y e exponent s squared, the differential of that equal to the integral of x e exponent s squared ds. Remember we said this, the integration of this is just this. It's just this, they are product. Then the integration of this is this. So we just have to two, then we take it from there. So the integral of this will be y e exponent s squared, we don't have problem. Then this the integral of this, remember is that, so half e exponent s squared plus c. Now we make y the subject, we divide through by e exponent s squared. So here over e exponent s squared, here over e exponent s squared, then here over e exponent s squared. So this will divide that, so we will learn with y equal to this will also divide this, we will learn with half, then plus, we can rewrite this, c over e exponent s squared, we can send it to the top, so we have y equal to half plus c, e exponent negative s squared, we can use it in this, then this becomes the general solution, becomes the general solution, for this, for this first order of nine differential equations. I hope you get it. We end it here today. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell so that anytime I post a video, you'll be the first to receive it. Until we meet again. Bye bye.